Tonight, coming to you from the middle of the world, the one and only, from Telesur Studios in Quito, Ecuador, it's our privilege and our pleasure to introduce you to Andrew Sell. One consistent thing about UN foreign policy is interference. Or maybe another consistent thing is bald-faced lies. I mean, they lied about US planes bombing Cuba in the Bay of Pigs. They also lied about weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. They also lied about not using torture. Maybe this is a way for them to convince themselves. I mean, not sure if it really convinces us. And maybe it just holds together some semblance of imperialism. Who really knows? But my old mate Fidel Castro once said that we must know the truth, but it's also important to tell the truth. Show. Let's get Saki. Recap from the most transparent administration in history. You won't tell us what <clears throat> you were asking for uh, President Morsi to do or what you would like to see. The conversations that you have with countries involving Mr. Snowden are private and you can't talk about them. Your conversations with European allies and others about the NSA spying uh, allegations are also private. You know, I don't know, how would you respond to someone who might say that it appears that the only privacy that this administration is interested in protecting is its own. Uh, look, Matt, I don't know that I have a substantive response for you here other, there's other than to say that some diplomatic conversations need to remain private. After Venezuela accused the United States of plotting another coup, State Department jokes person Jen Psaki said it was ludicrous. She additionally added that it was long-standing United States policy not to support regime change by non-constitutional means. President Maduro last night went on the air and said that they had arrested multiple people who were allegedly behind a coup that was backed by the United States. What is your response? Uh, these latest accusations, like all previous ac such accusations, are ludicrous. As a matter of long-standing policy, the United States does not support political transitions by non-constitutional means. Political transitions must be democratic, constitutional, peaceful, and legal. We've seen many times that the Venezuelan government tries to distract from its own actions by blaming the United States or other members of the international community for events inside Venezuela. Hmm, Jen, I think there are a few problems with that, as my esteemed journalistic colleague points out in the video. But one of the more interesting things is that when she gets caught out, she's kind of squirms and then smirks. I guess coups are kind of funny for those in power. But our friends in Venezuela would have something to say about that. Unfortunately, it appears that Jen doesn't know anything about history, politics, geopolitics, or just plain facts. But I guess when your bosses are these guys, you can't blame her. As a historian, history kind of speaks for itself. We think about the 53 coup in Guatemala, there's Dominican Republic, Chile in 73, not to mention Argentina, and more modern ones with their involvement in 2002 coup in Venezuela, 2009 in Honduras, and also Paraguay. I mean, Jen, history really speaks for itself. I almost feel sorry for Jen Psaki. She has to defend President Obama's stupid foreign policy decisions more than anyone on a daily basis. I guess it's kind of the hopeless leading the clueless. There's been reports recently that three tanks have crossed the Russian border into Ukraine. I was wondering if you had any confirmation. And if proven true, would this be a step that warrants further sanctions? Mm -hmm. I think
think I do have something on this. Um, unfortunately, I'm not sure I have it with me. So why don't we uh, get that to you and anyone else who's interested after the briefing? Go, Is go it? Ahead. What can we stay? The best thing the State Department could do would be just leave countries alone. I mean, when we look at Saki's lies, bald-faced, laughing, it's just a sort of a view into the fantasy that is the US government. I mean, these guys probably believe their own rubbish. Maybe they hope that we believe it too. I don't really know. However, let's just go out in a little Russian ditty on this one. Мы живем с тобой в обмане, все события как в тумане. Кто развеет этот мрак, честно скажет, что да как. Это знает всякий, это не слова. Компетентней псаки, нету существа. Симпатичней псаки, и умнее псаки. Компетентней псаки, нету существа.